we just had an episode last week, right, on Emmanuel Macron's statement that, you know, Islam is in crisis all over the world. We talked about him uh, making it compulsory for kids to, to go to school, even though parents do have a right to homeschool their kids. So uh, are their rights and are their liberties being cracked down on when they're saying we can perfectly capably, you know, uh, homeschool our children, right? But you want to integrate them. Like who says we have to integrate them? But the thing is, we both thought that was a really good idea at the time. So, you know, it really depends. A lot of this really is a matter. It really, really is a matter of how you interpret it. But in this case, the actions that have been taken, right, there have been about, I think, last I read, around nine people who've been arrested uh, in, in connection with all of this. Um, there is, including, you know, that father who, who pushed out the fatwa, uh, they they have shut down this mosque, right? Because they want to figure out what was going on with this mosque. And, you know, it's a shutdown for six months. They want to prevent, uh, you know, Islamist terrorism. They haven't shut down any other mosques. They haven't gone around and done a whole crackdown on, like, you know, what uh, Steve King in the U.S. was doing about surveilling all these mosques and things like that. They're not doing that. I think that they're focused on this one specific crime and finding the connections with it and investigating them. And I think that that's completely appropriate. I don't think that cracks down on anybody's rights. Even even if it's completely appropriate, I think mm. it's I think it would I, I'm it's justified for us to be concerned. You know what I mean? We should be watching it, yeah, to make sure yeah. it doesn't go out of control. I think, yeah. yeah, I think I think given what happens when people like you know when when acts like this are used, because again, you know when you have the entire society all of a sudden taking one side right like not entire uh -huh. society like a, you, when, you, when you get a major push when george floyd is killed by police yeah. when the te a teacher is killed by an islamist right you get a lot of passion and this passion is such a powerful energy that could be used to all of a sudden justify things that shouldn't be justified. Do you know what I mean? Whenever people are, many, many people are unanimously agree that something was vile, something was a crime, something was disgusting, and even, and especially if they're right, right? Especially if they're right, okay? Mm -hmm. Especially if the teacher, if it was a vile and horrible act, like George Floyd or this teacher, okay? Then that, the fact that they're right and the, the fact that a lot of people agree and the fact that there's a lot of push and a lot of passion and a lot of anger, a lot of fear behind it, things that could be used to justify things that shouldn't be justified. And if you're and whether, you know, and to keep an eye and try to keep like try to um, adjust for that and try to defend against that becomes very unpopular, right? Because everybody's agreeing. Like, everybody agrees. Like, not everybody. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people are like, what the hell, Armin? You know, like, do you think, like, black lives don't matter? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, like you know, you get, you, all of a sudden, you get your friends and everybody, like, saying, like, coming out. Like, are, is this your response at, like, this tragic moment, Armin? Like, yeah, because everybody, be, because everybody is on the same side. Well, again, I'm exaggerating when I say everybody. Because so many people are on the same side, and because there's a lot of, then that's, yeah, that concerns me. Because I can't, I know, like, I know that this is going to be used to pass something that in normal times more people would be judgmental about it. Because more, because a lot, especially because there's so many, pa so even people who could see that something is wrong is happening. Because of the passion that exists in kind of this environment, they get scared. They're like, this is not the right time for me to say this because I'm going to get kicked out of everywhere if I say this right now, right? Um, there's, because there's so much passion involved and other people are afraid they're going to lose their jobs, they're going to lose their friends, they're going to lose the community. I feel like it's my, my job at that in those kind of environment to ask the questions that people would have been asking if the passions were not running so high, right? Because I don't have that much of a price to pay compared to other people, right? And again, that's you know, I think it's responsible. Even even if I look into it and be like, okay, why well, fine? It was everything was justified. Uh, the gov French government handled this perfectly. They didn't do too much overreach. No one's rights were violated. But you should be concerned given the history like i think like i'm is is reasonable to condemn this act call it violent 
call it Islamic, congratulate the French government for calling it Islamic instead of like dancing around it, calling it Asian or something like stupid like that or whatever. Um, identifying that, you know, this is something that needs to be addressed and like finally, you know, making it normalizing, uh, normalizing calling it out, calling this dogma uh, out as they should and making, giving excuses for other governments to do it as well because it's becoming normalized, not by a, like a far right government, but by somebody that is uh, celebrated in mainstream liberal left rather than, you know, um, so this is all good and you could acknowledge that, but at the same time, given that so many people agree, you know, making sure there is no, the, the backlash is not unjustified. I think that's all reasonable and I want to do, I'm, I'm going to do that. And given that too, so many people on our side are already um, doing a good job at calling this out and condemning it and calling this Islamic and calling out the ideology that is behind it. I feel like not enough of us are showing concern about what's going to happen to Muslims now in France. What kind of a backlash are Muslims are going to f experience from this, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that should be part of the conversation. Concern, concerns for collective punishment uh, on Muslims in France, um, that is not the, the, the only people that are doing that right now are Muslims. And I'm like, why are Muslims the ones that are doing it? What, are, are the rest of us not worried about a backlash on the Muslim po population in France? Are the rest of us not worried about average Muslims who are not even related to this event at all paying a price for this? Is no like, why, why is it that Muslims are doing it? Why is it that ex-atheists and ex-Muslims are not doing that? And I think that should also be part of our narrative and discussion. Yeah, I agree that that should be part of the narrative, and I think that that's been um, that that's been. I mean, that's why one of the things that the ACLU does, or actually used to do a lot more, um, is so great. I mean, they've been doing that since nine eleven, right? So the, the, when they when they've been concerned about the backlash, and there has been a lot of backlash against Muslims. I mean, the entire one of the reasons that the well, Trump presidency happened. A lot of these far right authoritarian governments rose up in, uh, or, or parties rose up and gained popularity in Europe is, is because of anti Muslim sentiment and anti immigrant sentiment, anti refugee sentiment, especially from countries like Syria and so on. So, uh, people, all of what, what you're seeing is a backlash. That's kind of what we've been talking about. And this is one of the reasons that I've been very concerned about it, probably more so than a lot of other people.